Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with Ask Dave episode number 286. Today I address a question from viewer Eric Mills, who wants me to explain a little bit about the difference between AM and FM modulation. I thought I'd do it a little bit differently. Let's look at the scope. Okay, we're going to look at modulation. I've got the signal generator set up to create this sine wave here, and I can change the frequency of the sine wave to be higher or uh, lower as need be. Right now this is a one kilohertz sine wave. Now we're going to modulate this with AM. We want a way that we can carry uh, information on this. And what we're going to do is vary the amplitude of this. So let me turn on the modulation. Okay, this is AM modulation, but it's not 100%. Notice that if you go up to 100%, this is what the modulation looks like. Apologies for the not holding steady. Um, now that's 80, let's see, that's 100% uh, modulation. If we go for less modulation, okay, that's 60% modulation. Turn that down. The less modulation, the closer you get back to just the sine wave. This is an unmodulated sine wave. It's not carrying any information. And this is a sine wave, because if we go over here on the horizontal, we can see it's a sine wave. But we're just going to let it run, and now we're going to put the modulation back in and eventually get up to 100%. And we'll play a little bit with the trigger here to get that... So hold on to stop there. Now um, I'm going to increase the modulation. It's 110%. Look what happened. The envelope came down below here and you get this little weird blip. And that's going to be interpreted instead of going down. It's going to be interpreted as distortion. Uh, so we don't want to go over 100% modulation. There's 100%. Some AM transmitters don't go that high with modulation. This is 100% here. Now let me increase the modulating frequency. Um, key where it uh, 100 hertz. Now if we open this up a little bit, we can see that um, we've got, I'm um, we'll go back to my sine wave and drop that down to 1000 hertz. Well, that's a little much. 2000 hertz. Okay, so this is a 2000 hertz sine wave being modulated by a 100 hertz wave. And we see that the actual carrier goes back and forth like that. The envelope over here on the top is not actually completely filled in. And the way this is interpreted is you go through a detector, which chops off the bottom half, so you just have the top. And then it goes through a low-pass filter, which then will join these together and get rid of the carrier. So that is AM modulation. Now let's see if we can do a different type of modulation. We'll do FM. You see the reference in the middle, and you see how it gets long and short. But the thing to notice here at the top is that it's the same height. The amplitude is not being modulated. What is being modulated is the frequency. This is a ramp. We're seeing that as the voltage goes up the ramp, the frequency goes up, then goes down, then goes up, then goes down, then goes up, then goes down. This is a ramp. Let's try um, let's see, type FM 
uh, source, internal shape. Let's try a sine. Okay, here's a sine wave that is modulating this FM, and you see that the frequency is changing back and forth. Now, the amount that the frequency changes is called the deviation. Okay, that's different from the modulating frequency. In this case, I've got the deviation set really high, so it's super obvious what's going on. Um, so, I have shown you AM and FM modulation, two basic modulation types, greatly exaggerated, of course, for your benefit. Well, there you have it. You could see graphically different kinds of AM modulation, or different amounts, really. And we looked at FM modulation, too, both for a ramp, which starts at a low frequency, goes up to a high frequency, and then a sine wave modulating the FM carrier. In all these cases, I greatly exaggerated the amount of modulation to make them uh, easy to look at. Now, people have been asking if I'll start, please, putting in photographs of the local area. So here is one for you to look at. I took these photographs, oh, probably a while ago, um, around 10 years ago, uh, when I was riding the little dirt bike up in and around the hills here. We have very scenic country. So, there we go, and uh, please take a look at uh, dkastler slash support to see if uh, there's anything there that strikes your fancy. And until next time, 73.